So Blender version 4.2 was just recently released, and unfortunately in the update, the bloom feature has been removed in Blender EV. However, you have the option to create a similar effect using the compositor, which I'll be showing you in this video. So in the previous Blender version, you have this bloom setting here, which I can turn on. So if you turn on the bloom setting, it's gonna give you a glow around the brighter objects. And I really love this bloom feature because it gave you so many different settings, like the threshold. You could also change the size of the bloom or the glow, which I really liked. You could also add a custom color for just the bloom. And so you could really do some cool things with that setting. And there was also the intensity value as well. So I've now jumped into the new Blender version, Blender version 4.2, and unfortunately here on the render properties you can see the bloom feature has been removed. Now there is a way to get a similar effect using the compositor in Blender, so make sure you go into the rendered viewport mode, and then just add some sort of object which is emitting light. So I have these spheres here and they have an emission material, or just make sure there is something really bright in your scene, like some sort of reflection or something else bright in your scene. So what I'm going to do is click right here in the corner and then click and drag to split the window. And I want to click here to change the editor type, and we're going to change this to the compositor. And then click on the use nodes button to make sure you're using the compositing nodes, and if I go to the admin, menu, I can search for the glare node, and this node has been in Blender for a while, so I'm going to stick this in between the render layers and composite, and then hold down the control and shift key and select the glare node, and that is going to preview it. Now if I render the scene by pressing F12 to render, it's going to add that glare effect in the compositor, however if we want to preview it in real time here in the viewport, we can do that. So here in the 3D viewport, you want to make sure you're in the rendered viewport mode. You now want to click on this drop down arrow, and on the compositor, you can either change it to camera, which will make it only preview in the camera view, or you can just change it to always, and that way it'll always be there. Now to get the bloom effect, you can click on the glare settings, and you can see we now have this new option in this node called bloom, and this is going to be a very similar effect. And if I just disable this bloom in the viewport really quick, another cool thing about this Blender update is that these emission objects are actually going to light the 3D scene. So if I turn the strength up really bright and make this bigger, you can see this is actually lighting the scene, whereas before in older versions of Blender Eevee, the emission material wouldn't actually light the scene, so you'd have to use the regular light objects to do that. But now the emission lights can light the scene. But let me just turn back on the compositor here in the viewport. Now to change the look of the bloom, you can of course change the settings here, so there's the ghosts, that is kind of cool. There's also the streaks, and there's of course settings that come with all these. There's also the fog glow, which actually is a bit laggy in Blender Eevee, and then there is the simple star. But for the bloom effect, it's best to use the bloom one, and this one is my favorite, and that definitely looks closest to the bloom effect. Now there's also this quality here, so if you change it to low quality, it probably is going to be pretty hard to see, but sometimes in certain scenes, on the edges, it might look a bit pixelated, so for most things, I would recommend just changing the quality to high. Now you can also change the size of the glare right here with this size option, so you can just drag this up and down, and unfortunately it's not really as customizable as the old bloom effect, but you can change the size right there. You can also change the strength of your light, so this object here has an emission material, so if I turn the strength up, that is of course going to make it brighter, so the bloom will be stronger. Now you can also change this mix type here, so if I turn the mix down, you can see the bloom is going to be less visible, or if I turn it up really high, everything else is going to become darker and you're just going to be able to see the bloom there. Now there's also this threshold here, and so this is going to change it so that the bloom will only affect objects which are brighter. So for example, this one here, I'm going to just turn this one to a 1 so it's not quite as bright, but then this sphere here, this I'm going to turn pretty bright to like a 20. Now if I turn the threshold down, it's going to light up more and more the things which are brighter. So you can see by turning the threshold very far down, even little bits right here and even like the reflections on the ground are going to light up, but if I turn the threshold up more and more, it's not going to be as sensitive, and so only things which are really bright will light up. Now what's also really cool about this compositor effect is it also works in cycles, and the previous bloom effect only worked in Eevee, but if I change the render engine over to cycles, you can see it's actually working in cycles, which is really cool. It's really cool to see that bloom showing up in cycles in the viewport. So that's how you can get the bloom effect in the new Blender version, Blender 4.2. Unfortunately, I really don't like it as much as the good old bloom effect here in Blender Eevee. Overall though, there are a ton of updates to Blender in this new version, and Eevee is also much more realistic. I am just a bit disappointed about the removal of the bloom effect. And if you'd like to watch some more of my Blender 4.2 update videos, then I'll have links in the description to some other update videos which I have created. So I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.